Welcome back to my channel guys. Last weekend was the Remnant Conference 2019 and it was incredible. This year was the first time that I got to work with ERJ Media and it was an incredible experience. The team welcomed me in like family and I got to learn so much. I didn't realize how much stuff goes behind the scenes, all the work that goes into it. And I wanted to make this video to show you guys a little bit of what that's like. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is when they let me go outside and interview people outside and how that went and my mistakes. You can hear me? And what was I gonna say? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna need you, because I need one more Spanish. So we're gonna go inside and let's see what happens now. Eh, bienvenido al conferencia remanent, eh, rem, 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 remanent. So you're gonna ask me or you're not? No, no okay. it's not. It's not. Oh, you better take this out. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so even though I think I messed up a lot, they seem to like it, so they bundled it up all together and released it so that everybody could see it. It was a little cringy to see it but it was still incredible and one thing that was different this year is that during the breaks our good friend Abby I'm gonna put her links down below because she has her own YouTube channel it's awesome she helped work with the media team to help think of different ideas of things that we could do on the break like different challenges that you normally see on YouTube and it was a lot of fun but this clip that you're about to see is Andres and my friend Dalton um, trying to save someone from falling off the stage during blind musical chairs. What are we arguing about? If these pants go well with this shirt, right? And they're supposed to be, my, my, my defense was because, because the theme is Miami Vice. Uh -huh. So it goes. I do feel good, I like it. You know, what, what I said, it's a little extra, but it's an event, so it doesn't matter. Exactly, like you wouldn't wear a tutu out, 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 out in the just regular day, just going around. It's not about Okay, it's not about just being extra. You gotta actually, like, okay, you gotta actually uh, make sure the palette works, right? So he's got, I don't even, this like seafoam green, and then you got light blue, and you got light blue, and then pink. This is nice. With some jeans, with some white pants, but with seafoam green. He's married, it's gonna be a it doesn't no matter me. anymore. He can wear whatever he wants, and he's married, it doesn't, who cares? He's right, he's right. I'm with my boy. My boy got me. My boy got me. And the other thing is that the media team came up to me and they told me if I could ask James if he could do a jingle for the Remnant talent show that we were doing. And my friend James is just so talented. We got together with Glenn and with Jedi. And in less than 10 minutes, they came up with this. Whenever you guys are ready, it's recording. Right. Are you gonna keep me in? <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? No? We, we. Alright, ready? We. One. We. Yeah. <laughs> we. All the way home. <laughs> one, two, one, two. We are the remnant. We are the remnant. We are the remnant. We are the remnant. And we got talent. Remnant's got talent. And then after that, our Apostle Guillermo Maldonado went up and he did his preachings. I mean, if you weren't there, I highly recommend you go to the bookstore, go online. I'm going to put the links down below so you guys can check it out. But his preachings on the remnant, on purpose, on releasing fire, on all of that, it marked so many young people. It touched my life. I was having my own encounters with God as he was preaching and I was just able to grab so much from it. So again, I highly recommend you go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then after Apostles Preaching was one of the best concerts I've ever been a part of. It was Tasha Cobbs. And I mean, that woman came, she not only sang, she allowed the Holy Spirit to move in her, she was prophesying, she was preaching, she was ministering. I mean, it wasn't just a concert, it was her own session. And after her concert, I met up with our good friend James and I got to share some final thoughts with him. So I'm gonna play that clip, but before I play that clip, again, I just wanna say, if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and if you like this video, go share it with a friend. And now let's get to the clip. It's over. We made it. It was good. I was tired. <laughs> it was, man. It's all day sleeping like a couple hours, but it was all worth it. It was worth it. Tasha Cobbs, though. Tasha Cobbs, man. I mean, she really like pushed herself to minister to the people and. I really appreciate that. Yeah. It was my favorite. To be honest, I didn't know that many songs from her. I feel you. But tonight I, I became a too. fan. Tonight I'm I think a fan. I became a legit fan. I'm gonna get her. On, what is it? Her albums on iTunes and stuff like that. We'll make it happen. I think it was beautiful. I think it was powerful. Um, I think it was youthful too. Thank God. Like I was saying, I like I like the stuff that happened in between the sessions. Yeah. The talent show. Um, they were playing what's called blind musical chairs. Is blind that musical it? chairs. I that think was it was fun. fun. It makes it. It makes it fun. And obviously, you know, you get you get uh, out of it what you put into it. So I think the youth yeah. were really expecting, really demanding from God, and God did His thing like He always does. Definitely. I'm just excited for next year. I'm excited for Cap. I'm excited for my bed. <laughs> One of those. Same. Three. So Sorry. love you. Love you guys. Love you, Frank. <laughs>